Movie night back with another classic. I'm your host, Easy. Welcome to Car Language Inn. Let's talk about how reliable our RX 350 is. F Sport, that is. I'm done wasting time. I'm sorry. Y'all gonna get tired of me. Y'all gonna get real tired of me because we about to turn up on the channel. I guarantee you, if you invite me to your house and we had a conversation about reviewing your car before we even have coffee, I'm on it. <laughs> Look at this the sun is beaming let's get into it Sixty-seven thousand miles later this video is long overdue i've been i was supposed to do something with this a long time ago i'm glad that we didn't only because there's more miles on it and i was kind of hoping that we'll have something to talk about but this is the rx350 f sport i don't know i've been kind of drawn to lexuses lately you know if you guys check out one of my videos recent is about two videos below we did a lx 570 with a 2021 conversion kit beautiful love the suv comfortable as hell um we just took a spin in this to the supermarket i'll just quick tour and let you guys know how, how everything has held up these are the seats as y'all can see uh my my boy ray my aunt's husband he drove this back and forth from jersey to North Carolina pretty often. And as y'all can see, it definitely done held up. You know, I'm I'm psyched with Lexus. Pouring a little messes, but we're going now. We ain't got time to be taking stuff out, putting stuff back in, etc. The only thing that I don't like about the Lexus is the uh, tech. But we got the cargo net, just in case you don't want things rolling around. You could push the seats forward. You got the red leather trim. And as you can see, some trim everywhere going around the whole SUV. Like it. Got the soft touch on the trunk. And everything looks real good. He didn't definitely hit a couple curbs. <laughs> but it happens. This comes from Philly. It jumps from Philly to Jersey to New York. Again, he didn't definitely driven it enough to find out if it's capable and it's definitely capable it's toyota how can it not be capable but it looks sexy it looks real sexy until you start playing with the infotainment system you have to use that dial i'll get into that a bit later um love the uh analog clock that's definitely a sexy elegant touch i wish more cars brought that back i wish all cars brought that back i need to start learning how to tell time i like my watch by the way citizen this is eco driven See, look, uh, check to see if my if my range is full. Y'all see that? What y'all think of the watch? Comment down below. Love this watch. Citizen, baby. We citizen. You a citizen. This is a 3.5 V6 liter engine. <clears throat> Love the front fascia. Very beautiful. We got sensors. This thing is censored out. Earlier, we was backing out the uh, parking spot in at the grocery store and it stopped i thought he hit something but the safety fi features are immense superb they definitely work love the wheels look very sporty soccer mamas but it works it definitely works pardon the bird poop you know this one doesn't have a windshield wiper which is cool I like that i'd rather none than one where it's visible we got the f badge lexus designed lights headlights and rear tail lights sunroof fully equipped y'all see the interior everything blends perfectly some red calipers maybe but so you lexus don't really get down like that <laughs> uh but they sexy it looks elegant in here very very elegant all this money y'all be making and we can't get some real exhaust tips we got dual exhaust though all wheel drive by the way i don't know the styling was very controversial sorry for the nissan owner's not here he took the keys with him <laughs> very unprofessional from me styling was very controversial when it when it came out it looked cool looked sporty but then again not for a soccer mom type uh, i like it i thought you know i think it looks good um at night especially with the running leds uh, do I recommend? Yes. 
we got the blind spot again we got all of those safety features like i said in here it looks very very nice everything flows decent looks very sporty until it's time to play with this it's 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 too fast i guess you could probably slow it up but you know i guess you get used to it after a while i just my concern is you can't really do this while you drive i'm sure if you've watched doug demiro loosen these vehicles because of that um you got the whole button so when you stop at the lights you know to shut off you know your emergency parking brake you got your heated seats your air conditioning seats this is to select your driving mode sport eco differential lock you got your traction control off you know um your back button your map etc uh your menu you know it, it, it once you plug your phone it, it syncs pretty pretty quick you got your buttons for everything else i kind of like that how they they kept that standard you got a screen here digital screen for your temperature just to let you know where you're at this one has currently 67,283 miles the leather i gotta say the leather feels really good in here you know and i've driven from i've been in it while while they drive from let's say uh let's say like a four hour drive excuse me yeah yeah three hours three hours we drove from like jersey up somewhere in pennsylvania and it was comfortable. I wasn't tired at all. Got an LFA look to it. I guess that's Alexis' signature. Mark Levinson, that's what that say. Real nice. Sounds real good. So how has it been owning a 2017 Lexus RX F Sport? First of all, let's see how it drives. I'll take that for a spin. I've driven this before. Like I said, this video is long overdue. Pardon me, I left, I left my my equipment in the truck oh man I, like i said i just i figured i said hey let me not leave without getting some information on this i would love to know you know what it's like to own one my wifey loves these by the way the only reason why she doesn't get one is because of course we drive a cadillac but i should have been open two lexus and i actually i've always one of my favorite lexus cars have been uh a G, GS, GS350, that's like one of my all time favorite cars. And then the new, the newer ones, the newer ones are nice too. It's just, they're, they're slow. I, I always wanted something, you know, fairly fast. You guys know what I own. For those who don't, Camaro ZL1, Chargers Gap Easy. I've owned two of those. I've driven Cama uh, the new Corvette. You understand? So I'm addicted to the speed. Don't expect much. It's not fast, you know, it takes a little while uh, to pick up. Um, it feels good though, as far as the suspension goes. Stiff, you feel like you hug the roll very well. Visibility is great. Definitely a, a great vehicle all around for, for your usual, your shopping, you know, the kids, they got two dogs. So definitely roomy for that. They didn't have this thing loaded. It was five of us that day and the two dogs from Jersey to Pennsylvania. And, you know, nobody was really complaining. It was just a lot of breath everywhere. <laughs> but 67,283 miles later, 84, nothing. Let's put it on sport mode to see if, oh, even the uh, dial changed. Wow, smart. <laughs> Let me stop playing. Like, yo, I'm about to go swoosh on oh. Not much changed. I felt like the throttle response got a little better. But tires, oil change. That's it. Honestly, me is just because I like my American cars. I love the V8, you know, but it's a very uh how do you say? Not a not so much a great investment as it is a Lexus, of course. It's Toyota. You know, um, th these are investments. People, when they go to Toyota, they're making an investment. When someone goes to Chevy, they want to flex. <laughs> That's true, right? Caddy, uh, you know, Lincoln, you know, stuff like that. But I'll be honest, had I driven that LX 570 before the Caddy, I think I would have got that. I felt like that LX felt so, so good. 
the driving, it was so comfortable. You felt like a boss. It was real, you know, it felt real brawny inside. And I fell in love. I fell in love. I definitely felt like, it, it, you know, it's worth it. It's just, damn, they're expensive. You know, they're they're really expensive. We got the backup camera. We got a whole bunch of sensors. Look, I feel it kind of slowing up when it feel like it, it, it wants to hit something. I love the safety feature on this. It's a bit annoying, but better safe than old snap. Yeah, the LX. Uh, I, I've been... I don't know. We'll see. You guys know I'm very spontaneous when it comes to cars. I don't really want anything. I can't get anything. I want a car. That's what I want. I want the ZL1 back. I really want that car. That, to me, is, is going to go down a history of best car I've ever owned. I want that. I really want another one. I will do another one. But congratulations to me and the wife. We're expecting Scarlet on the way. Scarlet dropping soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, going back to the maintenance, just tires and oil change. That's it. You feel the uh, the steering wheel vibrate too when you get close to the lines. Will it move you over? Uh, yeah, do it. Do it. Keep you in. It keep you in check. Keep you in the lane. It feels good in sport too. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Once you're going, it gets going. So it doesn't make you feel like you you're on your way to pick up the kids it makes you feel like you invested right like you you could kind of enjoy this a little bit i guess i like it i like it i like it can't complain you know again lexus and people have that you know that nostalgia y'all it's luxury it's gonna be expensive to maintain it might but it'll be worth it and you won't be changing parts all the time like me i haven't done anything to my cadillac but i do live with that fear I'm just glad that the last guy who owned it, he did what he had to do with it. But, uh, yes, definitely recommend this. Definitely recommend this. It's, it's moving. It's zipping through. We zipping. The vibration, again, the safety features is what, what would draw someone to get this. You got to get the S-Sport, though. Got to go fully. Got to go fully loaded. Stocks feel better then they, you know, it doesn't feel like they, they took it out of a Camry. You know, they they kind of look like that, but they have a lot more more going on in them. You could do more in them. Am I in the right place? Oh. I hate these Rachel ways. They all look alike. But yeah, maintenance. Um, he bought it with 25,000 miles and, you know, subtract from 67,000 that's how much he's put on it in two years that's a lot that's a lot that's a lot bought over 25,000 is 67,000 on it you know what a little over 30 on it and it drives smooth excellent feels good the steering feels good again the visibility looks everything everything feels correct feels stiff feels tight Nothing feels cheap in here. It feels like, you know, it's going to be a while before you start hearing things rattle. And that's what I like about the Lexus. All of a sudden, you know, I've been in them. And even that the LX I drove, it had 100,000 miles on it. Again, everything feels sturdy, feels durable. Nothing feels cheap. It feels like they definitely took their time making it and used the right materials as well. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Call language. Stay tuned. More content coming soon. Holla at you. Boy!